she's from St. Francis Winery. Sonoma. Sonoma. And um, you're the winemaker there? Are you like the... I am. Yes, I am a Sonoma County winemaker and responsible for 80% of what we produce. Wow. And um, someone told me that there's not very many female winemakers. They're, uh, they're, they're growing every year, every day. Uh, California has the largest uh, percentage of female winemakers. Um, obviously, we have our own group. We're pretty close. Um, we get together often and um, talk about our winemaking style. So it's exciting to uh, be working here at a time where um, you know, you're one of the Definitely some winemakers that have paved the way before me. Um, they had probably a more difficult time than we did, but still there's a, a definite sisterhood, I think. So if there's someone who wanted to get into winemaking, do you have any advice? Like, how they should take or sort of take a look at Um, I think my real advice is to start at the end. Um, because I think the best winemakers understand the process from the ground up. And I know uh, the term winemaker may have some glamorous, uh, you know, connotation, but really, you know, you really need those, those basic aspects of fermentation, um, how to pop the tank, and racking, returning, um, all those cellar activities uh, will make you guys even better when you are Now, growing up, did you think that you would be a one maker? Did I think I was growing up? Yeah. No, no, no. I was I was studying chemistry, and I thought uh, maybe I was going to go to pharmaceutical school. Ah. Um, but at the time, I really did not want to go back to school. I was pretty done. Um, so my parents retired to Sonoma, and I moved up to be close to them and kind of buy myself some time. I was um, barely 22 at the time. And um, my mom said, well, you can figure it out all you want, but please get a job while you do it. <laughs> uh, so I took an internship at St. Francis and um, really fell in love with my people. So then I went back and studied Enology Viticulture at UC Davis. Cool. That's very cool. Now, um, St. Francis Wines, what makes them different? Um, like, what's the signature? Um, I think St. Francis's motto really is maximum flavor with minimal intervention. So, um, of course, we're sustainable, but more than that, we try to make wine in a, in a natural way. We don't use any additives um, except for yeast to um, start the fermentation. But um, a lot of wineries will add um, acid and those kinds of things to kind of um, balance out the wine. And instead, we use techniques like we only pick our Chardonnay at night. And that kind of retains natural acidity with the grapes being so cold uh, so that we don't have to acidulate it later. So I think that's really our motto is, is minimal intervention, maximum flavor. That's cool. We're going to be um, tasting some of the wines today. Okay. Yes. <laughs> So, um, what's what's your favorite wine of all the you Oh, well, choosing a favorite wine is like choosing your favorite child. I bet. <laughs> but that's okay, because sometimes one child's your favorite, and sometimes the other one is. So, um, for me, it, it alternates. Uh, the Chardonnay will always be my baby, because that's the first winemaking project that was given to me um, as assistant winemaker in 2006. But right now, I, I'm really, really loving the 2009 Cabernet. Um, just really standing out. It's a great uh, representation of this newer style that I'm trying to bring forth, which is to be more approachable now. Um, definitely lay it down for a few years, but there's nothing wrong with buying it and opening it. So that's really my goal. Okay. So one last question as far as advice. So for people who are novices at drinking wine, um, do you have any advice on how to get started or how not to be intimidated by wines? Absolutely. Um, my first uh, recommendation is to, you know, just be honest. If you smell a wine and you truly don't smell anything, um, just say, I don't, I, I'm not picking up I don't smell it. <laughs> I'm not feeling it. Um, because I think that's how you really start to get on a path of being honest about the things that you smell. And then also, don't just use wine, but smell your food, smell flowers, smell everything.
everything you can, and at some point, um, it will be like a light switch that will go on, and it will trigger this memory, um, maybe smelling a wine and say, wow, that's, that Chardonnay smells like pineapple. Oh. Um, so I think the more that you just smell what's around you will really help you uh, appreciate wine. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for meeting us. So, um, if you want to see St. Francis Winery, you can go up to Sonoma. Um, you guys are on the web. It's the website. It's the website's uh, www.stfrancisswine.com. And we're open seven days a week from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. And we have an amazing food and wine program uh, where we pair seasonal um, food with our wine. And it changes a few times a year. Thanks. Thank you. Yay.